Hello and welcome. I'm Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll see how to set up record specific messaging in Avaya Proactive Contact. Normally, if you are playing a wait queue message or a virtual message, it will be the same message to all the customers that are being called out from that job. The record specific messaging gives you a way to play a specific message to a customer based on some specific characteristic of that customer's record in the calling list. So the data in the calling list field can determine which message to play. For example, if you have a field called balance in your calling list, depending on the data in the balance field, you can play a specific message. Like if the balance is in the range of 0 to 1000, play message 1. If it's between 1001 and 10,000, play message 2, etc. These messages are the same that you create in the message section on the editor application. To implement this, we need two calling list fields. One field will act as the source of the data and the other field will get populated by the system. For this example, the source field here is the balance field and that will contain the data which comes from the raw file and the other field will be populated by the message numbers at the time of the downloading the calling list. So basically the proactive contact will read the values coming in the balance field and will populate the message numbers in the another calling list field. Then when the system has to play the message to the customer, it will read this field to know which message to play. Let's now see how this is configured from the editor application. I log into the editor application and go to the calling list section. Please note that you have to configure it on each calling list on which you want this to be implemented. For our example, I'll choose list 3. I'll right click and then go to download from host. Under the download dictionary, you can see I have a language field here. For this demo, I will use this field as the source field here. Then I click on the map tab. Here I will create the map field and create the mapping table. I'll right click and do new. From the drop-down, I select RSM. It asks me for entering the name of the map field. I enter that as lang message. For the source field, I choose language. It will also ask me the default message to play in case there is some data in the language field which has no mapping. Let me choose that as F8 one And then I create the mapping. Click on the append button. So for example, if the language field contains Spanish, play message MW2. If it's English, play MW3. And if it's French, play the message FW3. And if it's anything else other than these three values, play the default message which we have set as FW1. Then I click OK. And then you can see the consolidated list that we just created under the map tab. I'll save this in pending mode now. Now since we have added a new field lang message, we will also have to import it to the calling list dictionary. So I right click on the pending list 3 and go to calling list details. And then I go to calling list dictionary the right click and click import from download dictionary so that my new field lang message is added here. Then I again hit save and save it in pending mode. And you can see after the nightly maintenance, the list three is active now. In the next slide, I have another example, which is based on a numeric field like balance. So when creating the mapping table, you could also use the ranges as shown. For example, if the balance field has data between 1000 and 10,000, play message F8 2. If it's greater or equal to 10,000, play F8 3, etc. So this way you can choose either a character field like the one we saw in the demo, that is language field, or even a numeric field also like balance. Now the next step is to create the message script which we will use on our job. So on the editor application, I go to the script section and I have clicked on the new button to create a new script. This has opened up the script creation wizard. Click next. I'll choose to create an outbound script. So I choose outbound and click next. Then it asks me if I want to play a wait queue message. I choose yes and click next again. Now from the drop down, I choose a record specific message. 
When I choose that, it will ask me for the list name and the RSM field. Under the list, I see my list three here. And under the RSM fields, I see the lang message field. It will only show those calling lists here on which the RSM has been configured. And it also asks for the default message to play. Remember that if you choose a default message here, then it will override the default message that we set when configuring the RSM for the calling list. Let me choose that as F81 here as the default message. Then I click next. Then it asks me if I want to play a message to an auto voice. I say no. It asks me if I want to play a message before passing the call to an agent. I say no. It asks me for the name of the script. I give a short name here. Give a brief description. Click next and then finish. So on the right hand side, you will see the details of the script appearing. Similarly, if you want to create a virtual script label, choose virtual and then click next. Then choose to play a message when a person answers the call, click next. And from the drop down, choose play a record specific message. And the rest of the instructions remains the same as we discussed earlier. Once you are done, save your changes in pending mode. These changes will become active after the nightly maintenance cycle. So you can actually do the calling list and the script changes together. And the next day, they should both become active and ready to use. And after the nightly maintenance cycle, you can see that the script is active now. Now on the editor application, when you are creating your regular outbound or a virtual job, you'll have to specify the name of the script label that you just created. Let's see how that is done. So I am in the job section on the editor application. Let me choose the job out B and D as an example. If I scroll down, you'll see this parameter script label for making the call. So here you have to choose the script label that you just created. So this way the job will make calls according to the script labels in which you have mentioned that if a call goes into the wait queue, play a record specific message. That concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, please write to us at mentoratavaya.com or at Avaya Mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.